In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sweep function uh, to create both a paper clip and a coil. Uh, so when you do your own designs, that you're going to have some options of different tools that you can use to uh, create your personal design. So I'm going to come up here to the sketch and I'm going to sketch out a paper clip. Now, the easiest way to do this, the dimensions I found was using uh, millimeters. So I'm going to come up here to my menu workspace units and change it to millimeters for this. Again, we know paper clips are small, so uh, we're, uh, inches is a tough unit to, to deal with. So I'm gonna start with a 24 millimeter line. Again, I did my research on this and found that this is the dimensions of the paper clip, so I'm not doing this off the top of my head. I'm gonna do a radius of an arc five millimeters. I'm going to come back and grab my line tool and I'm going to draw a 31 millimeter line. My arc tool again. And notice I'm making all these at right angles at 4.5 millimeters. And I'm going to choose that line tool, that straight line at 22 millimeters. My arc tool at four millimeters, and then my line tool at 15. Yep. Edit that to 15 millimeters. So, what you can see is I have that basic shape of that paper clip drawn out. Now that I have my sketch completed, I'm going to hit my green check mark. I'm going to look at it from the uh, isometric plane view, and I'm going to zoom in. What I have to do now is create a sketch on that front view. So I'm going to create my sketch on that front view. And what I'm going to do is grab my circle tool and come to the end of this line. And I'm going to create a point. 7 or 0, 075 uh, circle at the end of that line. Again, we know that uh, paper clips are quite small, so that's why we're dealing with such a small measurement. Actually, rechecking my dimensions on this, uh, this is going to be a 0.75 millimeters. There we go. I'm going to go back out on this now. And the next tool that I'm going to use is my sweep tool. So I'm going to exit this sketch and I'm going to click on my sweep. I'm going to choose the face of that circle that I've drawn. The sweep path is that sketch one. So I came over here and clicked on that sketch one. And what that does, as I hit my green check mark, it chooses that path that I made uh, to sweep that uh, circular face I put on there for the diameter of my paper clip. So this is just one way that we can use the sweep function. Now to show you that same tool again, I'm just going to hide part one. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm again going to place that on my top plane. And instead of creating a paper clip, I'm just going to do a simple U structure on this one. So let's go 40 millimeters. Let's do a arc of 20 millimeters. And again, closing this out, let's do 40 millimeters. Again, I'm mixing my geometry with my dimensions. That's why I got my error. So again, I can close this sketch out. I can go back to my orientation cube. I'm going to place a sketch again on that front plane. And what I want to do is create that circle at the edge of that line there again. And let's go to five millimeters. I can green check mark that. Now, again, I'm just going to that sweep function. I'm going to choose my face there and my sketch four which is my sweep path. Maybe not. I'll click on it in here on my sweep path. And I can choose each individual segment of my line, giving me again 